All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are out here. I'm gonna do some more nymphing for you guys. It's pretty cold out today. I'm actually doing the intro here a little bit late. Um, I'm actually already finished, but uh, it was pretty cold this morning. Uh, I started on one stream and I only picked up two like little like fingerlings. So I ended up switching uh, streams here and then I had a pretty good stretch where I caught like a bunch of fish in like one little area. And then after that, I caught like a few sporadic ones here and there. We'll go ahead and get to, I'll start on the stream this morning when I caught the, the two small ones and then we'll, we'll switch over, switch streams. The air temp never went above 32 today. So I had to deal with a bunch of uh, ice on my line and getting that off constantly. But so well, let's go ahead and get into the fishing here and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. We are out nymphing again today. I'm running a little black stone fly, size 10, and the little size 18 betas, the simple betas. Uh, not, not sure how today is gonna go though, because it is super cold. It was super cold last night, and it is pretty cold all the way up until like 1 p.m. The only thing that I sort of have confidence in is the fact that the sun is gonna be out for a little while. So hopefully that shining on the water will maybe warm them up a little bit and get them moving some. But uh, still just making the first few casts here. Haven't really uh, been fishing that long, but we'll see what happens. Um, I'm probably gonna run the stonefly all day just cause uh, last few times I was out, I saw a few black stoneflies that were hatched. I don't know if we're gonna see any today just because of how cold it is, but that makes me think that the nymphs are a little bit active. So we'll see. And uh, hopefully we can get into at least a few fish here. I will be very surprised if we find fish like we did last video, uh, sort of pushed up into those riffles just because of how cold it was last night. Tiny, tiny, tiny little brownie. But it is a fish and we got no skunk today. So we will take that. But it'd be nice to get something bigger. Tell you what, I haven't caught a tiny brown trout like that in a while. That's not a good sign that I'm catching a bunch of those today. All right guys, so we switched up locations and that was first cast and we're already hooked up. So that, oh, he just got off, are you kidding me? All right, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna come down a little further actually and start because this actually looks like pretty good water here too. Wow, okay, two cats, two fish. And this fish is on the stone fly. Nice little, probably 10 incher. Get him back. We switched streams because the first stream I was at, uh, it just wasn't producing. The section that I started at uh, was, isn't, in my opinion, one of the best sections. So uh, we just ended up leaving that creek. I went around, drove around to some other spots and a lot of people are out today, I think. Um, and then even, even on this stream, there are some spots that were already taken. So I haven't fished this section too, too much, but I usually catch fish here and we've already got two landed one and hooked up with another one. But anyway, so we're running I'm running a brown stonefly. Basically, I tie my stoneflies 
Uh, this pattern, I just tie it. It's basically just a big pheasant tail. Uh, and I give the collar a little bit more dubbing so it looks a little buggier. There is fish number three. Looks like this one's on the stone fly again. Okay. Well, I'm liking I'm liking the start we're getting here. All right, another nice brownie. This one's probably about the same size, 12 inches, 10 inches. Wow. Okay, stonefly is the fly today. That's four fish. This one's a little bit smaller, but this fish is also on the stonefly. So I am liking that. Just a little guy. Get back in there. Wow. Okay. Uh, definitely made a good choice to switch and come here. Although I'm hoping we can get something a little bit bigger than what we're getting so far. Another about eight incher. Right, this is a little better fish. Nothing crazy. Bigger than the other ones though. Well, maybe not. Probably about 12 inches again. Nice dark fish. It's so weird because you can fish these stream. Like I've fished this section before. Uh, I haven't fished it a lot, but it's like you I fished this when I last fished it. I was like, okay, yeah, maybe this section isn't the greatest. Maybe there's not a lot of fish, and it's just crazy. If you hit it on the right day, there's fish literally like every little seam. But it's just funny because you hit it on a, a day that they're just not on, you'll think that there's no fish. But I will say I'm, I'm very surprised that I even caught that amount of fish already with how cold it was this morning. I mean, the air temp right now is still below 32. And there's ice building up on my leader. So before I get over there to fish that far bank, I'm gonna have to get this ice off my leader. Now this is the biggest fish of today, but it's still only like 13, 12 inches. This fish was on, you guessed it, the stonefly. You can see it right there. You can see the stonefly in his mouth. Not a bad fish. But yeah, stoneflies, in the winter I usually like to go small or big. So a lot of people uh, ask me what, what winter flies I like to use. And a stonefly is definitely one of them just because they're either gonna be looking for a big meal or they're not gonna be moving at all. And they're just gonna be picking off small stuff. A lot of times this time of year too, you, I mean, you will find stoneflies in the water. There's another one. Um, because you, oh, he popped off. But, uh, I mean, you have little black stoneflies and stuff hatching this time of year. So, usually a stonefly in the winter is a good bet. I mean, it's not always going to produce like it's doing right now. But, I, I mean, I haven't even gotten one fish on that uh, little betis. Thinking about even switching out that betis because it's not doing anything. Just throwing on, like, maybe like a generic pheasant tail or something. There's a fish. Wow, this is pretty crazy actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. <clears throat> oh, dang it. That was a pretty good fish. That was probably about the same size as the other one we just caught. Oh my, dude, this is insane. I gotta, I gotta check my hook. They're not getting held real good. I don't know if my hook stall or what. I think it is. Oh yeah, the the tip of the hook is bent. So 
Um, give me a second here. I'm gonna switch out this fly and put a new one on. All right, we are back. I got a new fly on. Yeah, those are those were two decent sized fish. So I don't want to be losing any more of those. There we go. This one actually looks like it's on the betas. <clears throat> yeah, this is on the small betas. I actually think this may even be that same fish that I was just hooked into because when I was fighting that first fish, it had like a little red spot on the side of it. And I saw that again when I was fighting this fish. All right. That is the biggest one so far. That's about a 14 incher. Get him back in the water there. There's one. I knew we'd probably get at least one up in here because there is some slack water. Yeah, they are not sitting in the riffles today, I'll tell you that. They are uh, all the way, or they're in all the slack spots. Just a little guy. All right, that is our first fish in a while. First fish that we landed in a while. Had a few hookups for a short period of time, but it just didn't stay on. Just a little guy. But I'm gonna work up through the rest of this water here. I got like one more area right after this, and I think we're gonna call it a day. All right guys, so I'm gonna be heading out. That's uh, all the fishing I'm gonna be doing for today. I moved around a lot, kind of just driving around to different spots, seeing where how the water was. Uh, a few of the spots that I stopped at uh, ended up wasting some time because I got out, started fishing, but the water was just too low in the areas that I, I had gotten out at before. So I uh, started out on that one stream this morning. I caught two little fingerlings, but uh, I just wasn't feeling it there. Like, I don't know, for some reason, the water was too clear there and it was just so cold that uh, I don't think the fish were really interested in eating. But I ended up stopping here and as soon as we got down to the water, I started slaying fish on that stone fly and then after I moved out of that area I caught a few here and there and hooked a few and missed some um, but it's getting pretty cold again the sun's starting to go down over the mountains there so we're gonna go ahead and head out if you guys enjoyed this video and are not subscribed yet go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my videos go ahead and hit the like button let me know if you guys like these nymphing videos and then leave a comment below any suggestions for future videos and let me know what you thought of this video until next time peace